All right, so as promised, I did tease this a little bit ago, uh, but some more tips and tricks into multicolored printing. So stick around and let's get into it. All right, so in this video, I kind of want to talk about some 3D printing tips and tricks for multicolor printing. So with this particular print, it is a Deadpool. The colors I'm going to be using are just the Sunlu white, red, and black. Um, and these are all flexi prints. I can link them below in the description. They're pretty good files and they've, uh, they printed out very well. So my objective with this print is to get the best print possible, highest quality for the lowest dollar amount. So starting off when you're doing a multicolor print, you want to load the bed up as much as you can, because that is going to allow you to print more objects, uh, for pretty much the same amount of filament. Okay, so load that bed up and I've already done that. We talked about this before, so I'm gonna go in some other things. So let's just click slice and see what we get to real fast. For this print, it's first off gonna be 210 filament changes. I can't get around that. That's just what it's gonna be. It's gonna cost me $9.05 to make eight of these and it's gonna take 18 hours and 44 minutes. I'm gonna be using 46 grams of white, 107 grams of black, 208 grams of red. Um, I'm flushing 31 grams of white, 11 grams of black, and 29 grams of red in the actual model. So this isn't, this isn't awful. I'm gonna adjust that and we're gonna kinda of see where we go from there. So first thing I'm going to do, I like to print at a smaller layer height. It is going to increase the time, but I think increasing the time is a good thing. It's not increasing by too much. Um, I like to have a higher quality print, especially for something that might be selling. Um, so I could keep a good reputation, things like that. So I'm going to put it at um, a 0.16 layer height. As you can see right here, I have 0.16 millimeter layer height and it says good support. I'll be sure to link that up in the screen up here somewhere. If you're on TikTok, I'll be linking it only on YouTube. So just go to my page, click the YouTube and watch this video and you should be able to see that link there. Um, but I'm just gonna go to 16. I'm gonna go to three walls. And the reason I do three walls with a multicolored print is because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush some of this waste into the infill. And so when you flush, there is a chance that you might be able to see the color through all of this. So if you increase the walls, that's going to make it better. You know, the red's not gonna show black through it. And especially the white part isn't gonna show black or red through it. Um, which that is the most vulnerable to doing that. So increase the wall numbers to kind of cut down on that. Okay, continuing, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this probably to 8%. Let's go 6%. I always go gyroid. So we're gonna go gyroid because it's quick. We're no supports. And then we're gonna go to others, okay? Others is important here. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see flush into objects infill. You're gonna select that. You can kind of go back and compare uh, how much this saved exactly. I do remember it was $9 and five cents. And so let's see what this did with this first slice. As you can see, we've increased filament usage. It did increase in time. Um, both of these could probably be attributed to the 0.16 millimeter layer height instead of the 0 0.20. But we're gonna do another thing, another trick to kind of cut down on usage and purge going away. Okay, that's what we're focused on. We don't want a lot of filament to be purged into the waste bin or anything like that, okay? So as long as it goes in the model, that's okay. Um, that's an improvement right there. Instead of being flushed, I think that was, I wanna say like 10. Um, but you can go back in the video and see what the improvements there are, are though. So the next thing I'm gonna try and do is flushing volumes, okay? Um, if you haven't messed with this too much, there has been videos before that do show uh, what different flushing volumes do, but essentially this is how much is being pushed through the nozzle after each filament change to purge what color is left in there, okay? I typically don't go too much over 150 for any colors. The only colors I usually only worry about is going from a black to a white. Um, that that tends to be more of a harder color to get rid of in that, that shift because they're on polar opposites of the spectrum. So um, again, though, I if I do want to 
adjust it accordingly, I would go to 200, but I really don't care about that because, you know, I've done test prints and things. So I'm just gonna go to 150, okay? So there is all my 150, I'm gonna click okay. And then we're gonna go to slice and see what it gives us. This one helped us out a little bit. So we got back down to $8.87. Um, we are under a day now and I'm just looking at filaments used in the model. So that's flushed. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and compare, but this does seem like to be an improvement. I'm I'm just kind of looking at this cost and that's what I'm using here. Um, so it's $8 and 87 cents. We're going to try one more thing. Uh, and that is instead of purging so much out, uh, we're going to purge into an object. And I like to call these objects flushies. And with these flushies, um, I'll usually put them as like a discounted item, uh, or an item that I would give away for free. Um, just because what I'm going to do to it right now. So it's not going to look like these other Deadpools, all the filament and well, not all, but most of the filament being purged out is going to be put into one of these Deadpools. So I'll show you how to do that right now. It's actually really easy. So we're going to go ahead and click. We're going to, so we're going to select. So left click, then right click, and you're going to go to flush options down in the drop down menu. And you're going to go to flush into this object. And what it's going to do is when it's changing and purging, it's going to flush the majority of material into that one object. It's going to look weird, but again, would you rather have an object that you are making or would you rather have just a bunch of waste? Okay. I can do something with this object, even though it's ugly and you know, the material's just been flushed into it. And sometimes you get some interesting patterns. I can't really do anything with the purged material. So let's go ahead and preview this. Okay, so this time around, I actually took a, a picture of the comparison. So, old comparison for white amount flushed was 8.6 grams. Now we're down to 6.66. Um, amount on the old one was with, for black was 15.32 grams. Now we're down to 6.58 grams. And then for red, it flushed 13.67. We're down to 8.46. It does save a couple pennies here, if you're into that. Um, and then it also cuts down on a few minutes. So the old amount that it cost was $8.87. Now we're at four or $8.48. And we went from 39 minutes at the end to 17 minutes. All right, let's see if we can get the camera to focus on this. So here is the Deadpool Flexi. What I'm mostly looking at is there, if there's any black throughout this blade right here where it's supposed to be white, it's not showing up on the camera and it's there's nothing in there. Um, so that did purge pretty good. The only problem that I do see is on certain parts of where the gyroid infill was, um, you can just kind of see shading. You don't see a whole lot of black, but you do see a little bit of shading. Um, it's not too bad. It actually adds to the Deadpool color. So I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. The, the layer height, I mean, is perfect on this. I got the details and there is no bleeding, even in little areas like the belt buckle, there's no bleeding at all. Okay. on to the flushy. And again, this is a wasted object, right? But I'm printing it into an object instead of flushing it out. So that's why I like these flushies. Here it is. You can kind of see where it goes from solid black to where it goes like a, a red, white, black, and then it goes black, white, black, white for a little bit of time. And at the very end right here, you can see where it just goes to white to red. Um, and then on the blades right there, it goes from black to red to white. Um, this is, but yeah, this is a flushy. So if you're interested in saving some filament and printing it into an object or purging into an object, just like I said, highlight, right click, go to flush options and click flush into object. And this is what you'll come out to. Um, you can get some pretty cool looking prints with them. It just kind of depends the colors you're using and what the print, the prints intricacies look like. Uh, if you have any questions on this, feel free to comment down below. Give the video a like if you've made it this far. And if this is your first time around here, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, 
I'm Casey. Thanks for watching.